Hey guys, here I'm going to show you how to get the system information for your Xcode project. Now first, you need the latest version of Xcode and the latest version of the Mac OS X SDK which you can pick up from developer.apple.com which you can find the link in the description box. So first, let's open up Xcode. Now what I want to do is create a new Xcode project, so click on that. And it needs to be a Cocoa application and make sure these two are unchecked and then just click on choose now let's call this application system info now we've got our basic structure of our application files so let's expand this window so we can see better now let's open up the classes folder and the resources folder now in the classes folder you notice that you've got two files, you've got a .h file and you've got a .m file. Your .m file is your implementation file and your .h file is your header file. So let's open up the header file first. Now here we need to assign two IB outlets which is going to have the NS text fields which is going to be used later on in the interface. So let's type IB outlet NS text field in asterisk and let's call this one machine user and again underneath IB outlet NS text field and asterisk again and let's call this one active CPU cores now we need to work down here which is in the properties area and assign two properties for the IB outlets So type at property then atomic retain IB outlet NS text field then asterisk machine user and the same again at property the atomic retain IB outlet NS text field then active CPU cores then just hit command S to save that file now we need to open up the implementation file which is a .m file so now we need to simplify those two IB outlets so remove the semicolon from window and replace it with a comma then type machine user then comma again then active CPU cores then semicolon now we need to work in this area here which is application did finish launching with NS notification so here we want to assign NS process info which will be later on used so let's type NS process info then asterisk and let's call this one P info and equals NS process info process info and close that now here we can assign the data for our two NS text fields. So first we're going to work with machine user. So type machine user set string value. Now here you want to type cs copy username. Now it's asking for a billion values, so just type here one, which is an interactive value. So close that once you've done that. Now here we can work underneath, which is going to be for our active CPU cores which is going to use the NS process info so just type active CPU cores and then same again set string value now this is a bit different so just follow what I'm doing so type NS string string with format now type the at sign then quote percentage u quote then comma then p info then active processor count and close that and close that and close that then semicolon and just hit the command s to save that file now we've got those sorted the implementation file and the dot header file so now let's do is create a simple interface in the interface builder so let's open up main menu dot xib and then we go so I'm just going to hide others 
Now here we've got the main application window. So what we do is copy over two labels. So let's go ahead and do that. Put one there and then put one underneath it. Now let's expand these labels to the UI guideline. Now I'm going to call this top one machine user. Then underneath, add to CPU cores. Now this is the easy part. Here we've got our system info dot app delegate. So you just want to click on that. Then on your keyboard, hit the control key and keep it down. And click on your mouse and then just drag, and you'll get this little thing here. So what you want to do is drag this over to machine user and then you'll get this outlet window here and you want to select machine user and then follow the same procedure and then select add to CPU cores then command S and let's quit the interface builder and let's build and run and it should build without errors and there we go there's my username and there's how many cores on my processor so I hope the video was helpful please like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys real soon